Welcome to this video on using the AuthentiSign program for signings. AuthentiSign is an electronic signature service that enables multiple parties to legally sign documents through a secure online connection. This video will provide details on the procedures your client will use to sign the documents and how you will be notified of its completion. If you have not already signed up for the service, please review the video on how to subscribe to the AuthentiSign service. Upon completion of this lesson you will be able to understand the signing procedures in AuthentiSign. You will now watch a demonstration of how your clients use AuthentiSign to sign documents and how you will be notified upon their completion. Once you have created a new AuthentiSign document and click the send button, the recipient will receive the AuthentiSign document in the form of an email. This email will display your name as the sender. The email will invite the recipient to review and sign the documents for that particular property. The recipient then clicks the click here to sign button. This will cause an internet window to open and display the terms of service, licensing agreement and agreement between parties. Beneath the agreements the recipient can modify their signature script. Click the modify link to open a new window that displays the signature options. Select from the displayed signature options by clicking the radio button next to the style desired. Once the recipient has selected a signature, they can also fill in the contact information fields that are below the signature styles. These fields are optional and don't have to be filled in. Once the selections have been made, the recipient then clicks the accept button which will also close the window. Next the recipient needs to create a password. The recipient enters the password in the two fields on the right side of the page. The passwords must be at least five characters and are not case sensitive. After the two password fields have been entered, the recipient needs to click the checkbox agreeing to the AuthentiSign e-signature process. The confirm and accept button will then display. Click on the button. The page will refresh and the signing page will display all of the forms in the contract down the left column on the page with the first form in the center of the page. The recipient starts the signing process by clicking the red start signing button in the upper right hand corner of the page. The first signing block will begin flashing. The recipient then places their cursor on the block and clicks it. The clicking of the signing block will cause the block to stop flashing and the recipient will then be taken to the next signing block which will also be flashing. Once the second signing block is clicked they will be taken to the third signing block. The recipient repeats this process until all of the signing blocks have been clicked. There is a signing progress graph at the top middle of the page to show how much of the signing has taken place, as well as text indicating how many signature blocks remain. Once all of the signing blocks have been clicked, the signing progress graph will display 100% completion. Once the progress has reached 100%, the red done, accept all button will display on the right side near the top. To complete the signing, the recipient must then click this button. A new complete signing window will open. The recipient then clicks the complete signing button on the window which will close the window. The screen will refresh and display a thank you for using AuthentiSign page. This page will display the AuthentiSign name and ID number of the contract that was just signed, along with your name and contact information as the agent who commenced the AuthentiSign document. Once the first recipient has finished the signing process, you will receive an email informing you of this completion. If you are doing the signing in line, then the second recipient on the list will receive the email inviting them to start the signing process. Click on the click here to review button in the email to go to the documents. If you are reviewing the signing you will also need to register and sign into the AuthentiSign program, following the process shown earlier in this video. Once you have signed in, you can review the signed documents for the contract. Once you have reviewed the signed documents, click the Acknowledge Review button on the right side of the page near the top. After clicking the button, a message will display at the top of the page indicating that the document is being accepted. You will then receive a confirmation message and can close the window. 
Once all of the recipients have completed the signing process, all of the participants of the signing process will receive an email informing them of the completion of the process. Each email will have an attached PDF of the signed documents. The recipient can then open the PDF attachment and print out the completed and signed document. This concludes this presentation on the AuthentiSign signing procedure. Additional training videos, on this and other topics, are on the Long & Foster Cafe. We thank you for viewing this video.